let's talk about cheap tourist Panamas. Now most of the hats that come out of Ecuador are cheap. They make a whole lot of them and they're made to a budget. So it's the same material, made the same way, but it's mass manufactured and it makes an inferior hat. Now, this is your standard cheap Panama hat after about a month of wear. And they sell them to tourists everywhere. Often they have like Monte Cristi written inside them and lots of um, marks of quality, but they're not quality hats. They are usually woven out of what we call a brissa weave. You can see it's like a crisscross weave and it's a low grade and it's loose. They call it a grade zero and you can order them, but they don't. And they usually have a center dent through the middle there. And often they say they're rollable and when you roll them, they fall apart. This one's been rolled. This is about a month old and they have what they call a natural edge along here because it's cheap and easy to do and it frays and falls apart. So everyone goes to Ecuador and they come home with their Panama hat like this and it's not much use. Now there's a bit of technology that's gone into making hats better than that. Now this is our Casablanca and this is the same hat essentially but I use what they call a bristle or a quinkle weave. You can see it's like a like a zipper that runs around it. And this weave is far more resilient, like probably four times stronger, and looks very beautiful. It's slightly heavier and isn't as quite as open, not as translucent, and isn't quite as soft. These are very, very soft because they bleach them and then they dye them to look like natural straw. And this hat here, we've got a high quality ribbon. A nice quality finish on the inside. We use a, a grow grain on there so it's very soft on your hair and doesn't give you hat hair. Along the edge, you can see the edge here has been cut and sewn. And inside there is what they call a brimlock wire. And it's a special wire that when you heat set it, holds a particular shape. So no matter what you do to this hat, it will always come back to a beautiful shape. And so this is my version of those cheap Panama hats. And if we hold them up, you get a good idea of what you're dealing with. Now, this one you can buy for a hundred bucks and this one costs 240. That's in Australian dollars. And these are everywhere. And people come in wearing them and they're always shrinking because of the weave they use. They shrink terribly. So you buy one that fits you just right. And then three weeks later, you can't get it on your head. And then if they tell you it's rollable, if they usually do, then it always ends up looking a bit like this. Usually they'll crack along this line here. What happens is it's like bending a piece of metal. As you move the straw, it will slowly get weaker and weaker and weaker until it just cracks. And it cracks on these lines here. So you often see them with a big hole in the front here. And all, every week someone sends me a photo of their tourist pan in my house and says, what can I do? And I just say, well, you can glue it, right? If it's starting to crack through here, you can put a little bit of silicon on the inside here to try and hold the shape together. And with the brim, you can spray it with like hairspray or coat it with shellac or even wood glue. And that will hold a bit more of a shape. But at the end of the day, it's a very difficult hat to wear and to look good for more than a couple of weeks. And as a hat maker, I watch it all going on all around the world and there's people shipping hats out of Ecuador everywhere. And most of it, is this. And this is what they have down the road from where I live. But this is a far superior hat. You'll have it for years and years. It'll always look good. And you've got a real Panama. Have a look around. You'll see what I mean. Good luck.